New tonight, we're taking you inside a sting operation. Yeah, but in this case, only one Omaha police officer is on the move. KTV News Watch 7's Molly Miles explains. Where's the queen bee? She's somewhere in the middle. What would you do if you came home to this? Stay away. <laughs> or this? Well, it looks like we got a swarm here on our hands. The sight may be a bit menacing at first. Pretty much the sky is filled with bees. But Gary Kula says they don't mean any harm. And as an almost 20 year veteran of the Omaha Police Department, he knows all about keeping people safe. They have no defenses up simply because uh, there's no babies, there's no honey to protect. Kula is also a beekeeper. He says swarming happens when the queen leaves the colony with a large group of worker bees to find a new place to live. If they feel like the, the conditions are too cramped, there's no more room for them to grow, they will swarm. The bees come to rest in a seething clump on trees, in garages, just about anywhere. Mike Petrowitz found them on his sister's stairs. I've seen like beehives like in the corner of buildings and stuff like that, but never anything near this. Yeah, this is just crazy. Kula says if you see one of these, put down the bug killer and pick up the phone. Would recommend then call 911. And from there, the 911 center will make the appropriate calls. They will get a hold of a local beekeeper like Kula to capture the swarm. One, two, three. The biggest thing on that is to catch the queen. Wherever the queen is at in that swarm, the colony will follow. So if she flies, they're going to go with her. While Kula is happy to apprehend the bees, he says they are far from flying fugitives. They help the community. Most people that don't even realize it in neighborhoods that bees are pollinating not only their flowers, but also all their vegetable gardens and things like that. And, and they really kind of make your uh, garden boom. Molly Miles, KTV News Watch 7. Fascinating. Now, Officer Kula is a member of the Omaha Bee Club, and get this, he is working with law enforcement and the Humane Society to put together a list of area beekeepers. Yeah, and that way you'll get help even faster if a bee swarm lands on your property.